welcome everybody my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use AnyDo on computer. So the first thing that you want to do is if you didn't create your account yet you will have a link down below in the description and if you already created account just completely skip this step. So when you're going to enter AnyDo you want to uh, just sign in with the Gmail right here and continue. And let's just wait until it loads and we will go straight to the action. You know how they say. Hey, just well, are, we are really excited. We can simply start creating tasks like here. So let's just start here and I'm going to skip it because I want to show you everything. Unlock your full potential with any of the premium. No, thanks. You can upgrade it if you want to. So first thing first, in a moment, when you're going to enter any do, what we are going to do, I recommend go to top left to settings and change your first and last name. So let's say that I'm going to change my first last name, Marcus Tonelius. And I'm going to also on the top left, change a profile picture. So I'm going to choose a profile picture. And voila, here we got it. So first thing first, I'm going to give you the interface introduction, what we can find here. You can go to calendar where you would find your calendar, what is happening, shortcuts as today, what needs to be done next seven day and all tasks. Then you have a list here. You can create your own list. This could be named also projects. So I can have personal work grocery list and tags. So I can simply uh, choose and manage my tasks and lists by priorities. Of course, when you would go to the top right, you see settings here where you can find your profile and delete account sign out. Then you have option to find also integrations with multiple applications here. So you see plenty of apps that you can use. Then you're going to see completed tasks, import, import themes. This is really important. You can have a light theme. I'm going to choose a light for this tutorial because I believe that with a light theme, it's easier for you to read, but I would recommend having a dark theme. At least that's what I use. And then you have backgrounds here, right under the theme, you're going to see the backgrounds. So you can switch between two docs or all the default one. You're going to see plenty of backgrounds that you can use. Then you can have the desktop notifications that you can change. So here you would have notifications and you can turn them on. Of course, you can have a default list here, like which one you want to have the default. Like if I'm going to create multiple lists, the, I would find them right here. Right then, when we go further, we're going to see the time settings here and you're going to have the time format, the date settings and week starts on Monday. Again, you can edit it for yourself. And then you have language here. And this is pretty much it, how we can configure the settings. Of course, next to the settings, you're going to have the thing here. You're going to see the notifications and you can search for stuff. So let me just show you how you can create a list. And then we will be creating in our list a task. So I'm going to click here on a plus. Name this list. And I'm going to choose, let's say, YouTube channel. I would click on a YouTube channel and look at this. I can invite people, add members, or I can simply sort it by, or I can have a multiple selection here. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a task here. So let's say I'm going to add YouTube script. Then I can choose a date when it needs to be done. Let's say 30 first. Okay, set. Then I have option to add it to personal work YouTube channel. What it's going to be. Then I have also like contacts here and I got to see also tags here. So then I would like click here on this arrow and look at this. This is our first main task YouTube script. But let's say I want to add a new subtask to our task. 
And now how we can add a subtask. Sub adding a subtask is really simple. You're going to click on your own task in a project that we created. Right here, you're going to have the tags remind me. So this is the reminder that we added. Tomorrow, list YouTube channel owner me. And we can add a new subtask and let's say write the first paragraph. And that's how we do it. Or add a new task. Also create a Word document. Nice. And I can simply move it. I can add attachments here. And then I can see activity. What was actually happening on my task. And this is how we do it. Of course, you can add multiple tasks here. This is like a reminder. This is what it's like about. And inviting people here. Of course, uh, you're going to see always the subtasks right here. If I'm going to finish the subtask, as you can see, there's like one out of two completed. And what I can do now is go simply to top, top right mark as done. And voila, this is how I do it. Of course, uh, my recommendation, you can also restore the task. Uh, what you can do is to add, add a tax here. So that's what I'm going to show you. I would click here tax plus here accomplish more with premium continue no thanks and you can simply add multiple tasks right here you can also tax a uh, priority etc but your account needs to be upgraded for it so that's how we do it and the last thing that i want to show you is how we can manage your lists and how to actually work for it so what you have to do is to click on the edit button and you can simply move or click here on the edit and change the list name or delete the work. See, so this is how we can simply manage your lists and you can create a new ones. Like this is my own that I created and that's pretty much it. Of course, let's say that I have a restore a task here and I would click on the shortcuts. I can see the all tasks like tomorrow, next seven days, Tuesday. And I can simply pick a date. September, see first day, it's changed automatically. You can have also like reminder here. So that's pretty much it. How you do it, you can change like when you're going to get reminded. And then uh, you're going to see also calendar. And in your calendar, you can sign it with your Gmail account. And you would see all the upcoming things uh, today, tomorrow, someday. And what you can, of course, do is go to top left and click here, create a task. And you can have assign, add to list. And I'm going to choose YouTube channel. Reminder, reminder tomorrow. Note, I need to finish this. And I can add a tax on the right side. And then I would simply click add a task. And that's pretty much it how we do it, right? I want to and yep. Yeah. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope this video helped you. Have a great day guys and goodbye. See ya.